G'day guys and welcome back to Factory Town Tycoon. Now we've just had a fantastic update, Halloween update, and uh, there's a lot, we've got the cat down there, but there's a lot of extra stuff in here. And again, I've already put out a video on this, and uh, I did forget to put in this guy, and he looks totally awesome. So, we've just had another piano roll down. We're making pianos now. We're making pianos, we're making motors, we're making, uh, well, sometimes we're making beds too, I suppose. I've actually turned off the bed making just so I can um, bump up the table production. Um, but we're still making tables and we're making the benches, of course, all at the same time. So I've got everything running over here, as you can hear. And I'm going to turn off the tin horn now because I've got a lot up there. Now we don't need very much of it. Um, we'll just turn that off and we can probably put on iron ore just to bump that up a bit because it does take the longest to make and we need twice as much iron as we do everything else. So bump that up and we'll let that carry on now we have a lot of stuff happening up there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and turn on the wood wooden side of the production which is over in this area over here you see I've turned the beds off for now but we're gonna we're gonna get this going and it's gonna kick it into, into go hopefully we've got uh, a few nails still in there now there's a motor on its way um, down to the end and a piano by the looks of it so we'll quickly Got a bit of a bit of a jam up there. Let's take this with us. Let's see if we can catch that motor coming down. There's the motor. What is this? Is this a piano? And there's a piano. So I'll just take you up there and I'll uh, I'll run through the system with you. And we'll see how we go. Okay, now this here is an issue. These are quite steep and things sometimes just roll. Um, got plenty of wood there for now. Okay. So I've changed a lot up here. A lot has been changed up here. Um, I changed my loop just from the motor setup. And I'll, I'll change it so we're doing motors, pianos, the lot. Okay, so we've got our oars coming in here. This is all basically the same, although I've knocked it down to a simple oar loop. So the oars come into this. Each smelter takes what it needs, and it will just keep going around in this loop until we come over here and we have the sorters which pick up the ingots and take them to the blacksmiths and so then the blacksmiths put it into the system here now the system here I had to put more ramps up just to keep everything sort of flowing and sometimes things do fall off but it's very uh, it's very minimal and that's just because of the placement of each 
um, each of these isn't quite equal with the size of the uh, little conveyors, short conveyors and whatnot, but I've got it working perfect. So in here we've got frames, and they come into a splitter, and one heads this way down to pianos, and the other one goes into our system here for motors. Now the same with the coils, they go into a splitter, one will go into the, the motor setup, and one will go over here, up here, and out to piano production like this and of course we've got the cog the gear over here and that's just by itself and it drops into the system as well so this this system here is the motor production system and everything works well and extremely better in this game if you loop it Okay, so we've got loops for everything, every little production has its own sort of loop. Okay, um, we've got a few spare parts sitting up here I haven't used yet. So yeah, we've got, we've got motors there, we've got an issue over here, clearly stuff keeps falling out. Um, not sure how exactly I can stop that from doing that. Uh, but I will probably eventually find a way of doing something with it. Um, so here we have our loop. We've got tables coming in from down the bottom. Okay, so the tables get picked up as they come out to head down this way. They get picked up instead now. Because we can afford not to make tables anymore. And then they get put into this system here. And we've got a piano being made right now. Benches are the same deal. They will get picked up here. One will go up here and one will head back down to our area where we sell off our stockpile. So once the piano has been made it gets released and it gets put back into the system. It's quite, uh, quite confusing but it comes out here, down here, and runs back out our system here. So it pulls off there and it will end up coming around here. So yeah guys, we are making everything that we can sort of that are, that is big at the moment to sell. We've got pianos, we've got and all I have to do is I can turn my beds on again and that will kick everything back into life down the bottom. I may need to adjust something down there at the back down there so we can get some more planks going through the system. But I've also started the upper level um, garden. So this will be the same size as the garden on the bottom, uh, and a nine plot, and another nine plot on the corner. I'm not sure how high we can build on the game, but uh, blueprints haven't run out for me yet. I've still got quite a, a lot to go. I've still got 340 odd buildings that we can place in and whatnot so things are still still looking good I, I was thinking about putting a wall around everything but uh, for now I'm gonna leave it as is and I'll probably I'll probably just put a wall a little wall around um, probably too high maybe three high but as for a roof at the moment, yeah, probably not going to happen. I quite like being zoomed out and looking at everything just flowing and going around the system. Uh, we're out of wood down here, so 
I guess. I'll have to get that back up and running. But anyway guys, that's what I wanted to show you. That's the new system for pianos. And it works extremely well. Uh, how many do we have in there? I don't know. How many I've got in there now? Probably a few. Yeah, we've got we've got eight sitting in there now. We've got ninety-three motors. Um yeah, everything seems to be running extremely well. Apart from that we bit where we have to turn off the tin ore because we do produce too much for the system. But yeah, all in all, I'm super happy with the, the setup. And if you've got a motor system all you gotta do is, is split your output for your frames and for your coils you can run it into another setup for making the piano. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple when you figure it all out. But yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh hope you enjoyed my little tour there for for the piano setup. And uh I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.